Hello. I'll be reading you The Highest Mountain of Books in the World, written and illustrated by Rocio Bonilla. Lucas was convinced he was born to fly. He could spend hours watching the birds soar or airplanes leaving white trails in the sky up above. Lucas! He tried to make wings many times. Millions of wings. Big ones, small ones, even ones with real feathers. Surely, he thought, one of his inventions would make his dream come true. To fly. But none did. Santa Claus. Lucas refused to give up. Every Christmas, he would write Santa Claus a letter, asking him to pretty, pretty please bring me wings that can really fly. But for some reason, year after year, Santa got it wrong, giving him toy wings that were no use at all. On his birthday, after blowing out the candles on his cake and making the same wish he'd made each and every birthday before, his mother said, There are other ways to fly, Lucas. And she put a book into his hands. At first, Lucas didn't understand what she meant, but he sat in the garden and started to read anyway. He loved the story that his mother had given him so much, he finished it in one sitting. Almost without realizing it, he picked up another book, then another and another. He was amazed by everything he discovered, learned, and imagined. He started to devour books endlessly, and the more he read, the faster he read, he couldn't stop. He soon finished all the books from the bookcase in the living room, and the books from his sister's room, too. More! Before he knew it, the garden was full of books. He stacked them up, sat on them, and asked for more. Everyone brought him books. His best friend, Thomas, the girl next door. The music teacher, his grandfather, and even the local baker. Looks like these books are taking him on a journey. And so his mountains of books grew and grew and grew. After a while, Lucas stopped coming down, not even to eat or sleep. His mother, his sister, and even the fire department tried to get him to come down, but Lucas could only think about reading. When he had finished all the books in his neighborhood, he started on vans full of books from the local library. The mountain of books grew higher and he became so famous that he was even on TV. When people found out about him, they came from all over to see the highest mountain of books in the world. The highest mountain of books in the world. Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> Lucas didn't notice anything. He just kept on reading. Wow. With each story, he traveled to other countries, 
discovered interesting things about history, met new characters, and imagined worlds that didn't really exist. And then one day, all of a sudden, he understood what his mother meant. Even though he couldn't fly, his imagination could. In fact, he realized he hadn't stopped flying since he'd started his first book. And at that moment, he wanted to climb down the mountain to tell her. But how? And that's when his imagination allowed him to fly. Yet once again. And that's the end. I wonder what adventures and journeys the books you read are going to take you on. Have a great day.